Hello, in this video I'm going to show you an example of beam calculations. As you can see in this example, I have already labeled the pen A and the roller B. And the first thing I need to do is draw a free body diagram. So I'm going to put the beam as just a simple line segment. Here is my pen and here's the roller. I'm still going to label them A and B. And then I have 80 pounds of force here, four feet away. Another four feet away, I have 120 pounds of force. And then there's six feet this way. And then there's also two other forces on this beam that we don't see directly from the thing, but we know they're there because we've talked about at a pin, we have two reaction forces. We have a reaction force at A in the Y direction, and we also have a reaction force at A in the X direction. So I need to label those on my free body diagram. And then for the roller, we have a reaction force at B in the Y direction because we are allowing the bridge to roll here in the X direction. Okay? So, now there's three basic steps when you're solving a beam calculation problem. The first step is the sum of the forces in the X direction must equal zero. So when I look at this picture, I'm trying to find all of the forces that are acting in the X direction, which would be left or right. So I have reaction force at A in the X direction, moving to the left, and then everything else I see is up and down. So that's the only force I have, so that has to equal zero. So now I'm going to label this reaction force has zero pounds of force, because nothing is pulling, so there's no reaction. Our second step is to say the sum of the forces in the y direction have to be equal to zero. And so I'm going to look at things that are acting in the y direction. So I see RAY is acting up plus um, I have 80 pounds and it's in a downward direction so I'm going to say negative 80 plus I have 120 and it's acting in a downward direction so I'm going to say negative plus um, RBY is also in the Y direction. All of those have to be equal to zero. Now I'm noticing that I have two different variables here. So in mathematics, when we have two variables, it takes two equations to solve it. So that's why we need this third step, which is the sum of the moments about A, and we always pick the pin, because that's the part that's going to be static. It's going to be held. The sum of the moments have to equal zero. So, looking at A, um, RAX, I have force RAX, and its distance from A is zero, plus the force RAY would cause a moment, and its distance from A is zero, plus this negative 80 pounds acting down. And then if I'm holding the pin right here and I'm pushing down with 80 pounds of force, it's going to make this want to rotate clockwise, which is a negative moment, and it is four feet away from A. And so this is going to work out to be negative. And I use this little uh, clockwise system to help me make sure I get my signs correct. Plus I have negative 120 pounds that is eight feet away from A. And again, if I'm holding the pin right here and I'm pushing down with 120 pounds of force, it's gonna cause it to go clockwise, which is negative, and my moment is negative here. I'm gonna have to scoot over. Plus my reaction force at B in the Y direction, and it is 14 feet away.
And if I'm holding the pin right here at A, and I'm pushing up at RBY, this is going to cause this beam to want to rotate counterclockwise. Counterclockwise is a positive moment, so I need to make sure I've set my math up to be positive. So all of these moments have to add to equal zero. So, convenient thing here. Um, luckily, my um, reaction force at AX times zero is zero. This is zero, getting out my calculator here, and I'm going to multiply 80 times 4, and I get negative 320 foot-pounds minus um, 120 times 8 is 960 foot-pounds plus 14 feet R, B, Y equals zero. So I'm going to combine like terms. Negative 320 and negative 960 is negative 1280. And then I'm going to need to add the 1280 over. I'm going to try to solve for RBY, so I'm trying to get it by itself. And then to get RBY alone, I need to divide by 14 feet. And I'm left with reaction force at B in the Y direction is equal to 91.429 feet. And I get two significant figures, so I'm going to answer 91 feet. So, this is my reaction force at B in the Y direction, so I can label this as 91 feet. Or, I'm sorry, I said feet, it's not feet. Clearly it's pounds, because that's what's left. I even did my units so you can see that. So now we still need to know what RAY is, but now I have a value for this RBY. So I have negative 80 pounds RAY minus 80 pounds minus 120 pounds plus 91 pounds equals zero. So I end up with RAY minus 109 equals 0. So when I move the 109 over to the other side, I'm left with RAY equals 109 pounds. And that's the first example for solving uh, beam calculation problems. Thank you.